Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn few awesome tricks using the Excel formulas. I will explain you five different formulas in this video. So let's start. The first formula we will learn here, wrap rows. For example, let's say if you have the data in this format, let's say you have copied the data from PDF or from any other source and you paste it into the Excel sheet. And your data is coming in this format like first it is showing the header name is sales then the name of the person is and then sales the next name next is and next sales and we have to convert this into this format without using the power query let me delete this formula from here and i will tell you from the starting so here we will use wrap rows formula press equal to and type wrap rows this one first of all we will select the vector range so let's select this range we have to transform this data comma then wrap count here we know our wrap count is 3 we have name age and sales so that is 3 okay just close the bracket and hit the enter you can see automatically it will convert your data if you will put here 4 in place of 3 then it will take one new column and it will not show the proper value because our wrap count is 3 after 3 it will wrap to new row now the last argument is pad width so when we will use the pad width so let's say here we have selected a1 to a30 so a1 to a30 means the count of rows here is 30 which is properly divided by 3 if we will take here let's say 28 now we are taking 28 rows which are not properly divided by 3 in that case the two values are coming here has any in the last you can see so here we will use pad width we can put here in place of has any let's show this hyphen sign just hit the enter okay so now it is showing the hyphen sign so friends that is how you can use the wrap rows in this scenario i will tell you one more use case wherein you can use the wrap rows let's say we have the comma separated data we have the header here you can see then we have the multiple values and each value is comma separated okay now in this case we will use the text split function along with wrap rows let me explain you Let's delete this. So first we will split this data in proper manner. So let's use here text split and select this. Okay. Now the column delimiter we will use here comma and space in the inverted comma and just hit the enter. So it is showing the value in a single row. Now we can transpose this data using the transpose function. If we will use the transpose function before that, then in place of this single row, it will come into single column after the enter. So we have the data here. And if you will see now, this data is in the same format which is available here. All right. Now that means we can use here wrap rows function. Wrap rows and the vector. This is the vector, the output of this transpose function. Wrap count we can take 3 and just close the bracket at the end. It will be converted into same form. Alright. Now friends I will tell you how you can use the wrap calls function. Wrap calls is the similar function which we are using here. The only thing is we have to convert the data into columns. Now. Here you can see it is taking three rows and multiple columns. This same data. Now let's say the data is coming in this format. So we can use the wrap calls. So here we have used the wrap calls. Let me show you. Wrap calls. Vector we will select this range. Comma. Wrap count. We know three because it is same data. It is coming here. If you want to transpose this into same format then you can use here transpose. Okay. And just put the has so that it will consider all range now it is transposed 
All right, friends. Now let's move to the two column. So two column function will convert your this value into this format. Let me show you here two column, and I will select this range and just close the bracket at the end. So your value will come in this form. Now we have some other arguments also here. Let's see. The first one is array, which we have already selected this range. Now the next one is ignore, which is optional. If you want to keep all value, which is by default, or if you want to ignore the blank, ignore the errors, and ignore the error and blanks both. So let me show you. Let's say here we have some blank. Okay, now because we have some blank, so you can see here it is showing 0, 0. Let, let me put here error, any function to return the error, and here also. So it is showing here error and it is showing here blank, which is 0. So we can put here ignore blank. If you will select here 1 and just hit the enter, so it has ignored the blank. It has ignored two values. So now list is little sort. If I will put here 2, then it is ignoring the error, not the blank. But if we will put here 3, the last one, then it will ignore error and blanks. Okay, you can see the list now. Alright friends, now the last argument is scan by row, which is by default. And you can use scan by column also. If you will use scan by column, then what will happen? Let's hit the enter. So what it is doing? First it is taking all name. Here you can see. Then it is taking all ages. Then it is taking all sales. Okay. So that is scan by column. If you will remove this and by default you can keep false. Then it will scan by row by row. Let's come to the two row function. This is the same function. The only difference is it will take the data into row in place of column. Let me show you. If I will use here two row array, let's select this range. We have the same parameters here. Ignore and scan by column. So I'm not taking that and select and put the enter. So it is showing the formula in this format. Now it is scanning by row, which is by default. First it is taking this row, then it is taking this row. But we want it by column this time. So here let's ignore this and here let's take scan by column. Put here 2. Okay, so it is taking the same values. Alright friends, so that is how you can use two row function. Now I will show you array to text. If you have a data range and you want to convert that data into comma separated list like this here I have, then you can use array to text function. Let me show you. Let's delete this and let me show you. If I will use here array to text this one and I will select this, we have another argument which is format. I'll show you that one also. First, let's select and hit the enter. It will return the value in this format. First, what it is doing, it is going by a row. First, it is taking this row, then it is taking this row, then it is taking this row. Okay, but if you want, it should go by column here in this case, then what you can do, you can transpose this range. The first range, let's transpose this, and if you will transpose, then what it will return, let me show you. Use the transpose here, select this range, and hit the enter. It will return the data in this format. Okay. So first we are using the transpose. Then we will use this function. So inside this range, let's delete this and use here transpose. Select this range. Close the bracket and hit the enter. Now it is taking first header, then first name, then is and sales, then second name, is and sales. Okay. Another argument which is format. So here we have two. One is concise, another one is strict. So if I will select concise, which is default, then it will return this readable value. Comma and space is the separator here. If I will use here one, which is strict, then it will return the value in this form. So friends, that is how you can use these five formulas. 
I know you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos. Thank you so much for watching.